Hi friends! I posted uh, a pic on Instagram this last week of this crocheted spine where I removed the spiral out of this notebook and crocheted the spine and made it a little made a little um, bookmark to go with and everybody was really excited about it so I thought I would do a tutorial so that you could see how this is done. Um, you can take any spiral bound notebook that has a metal spiral. Um, oftentimes they are um, uh, cinched together in the back like this and if you just pry these guys open like this once you get them pried open this will just slide right off so easy and then you can take this and twirl it around and pull that off just like that um, I actually this is a pretty fat book um, so I may end up getting rid of just a few pages out of this book I'm gonna see how it works um, I'm using fingering weight yarn um, just some I had on hand and a three millimeter crochet hook to do this um, whatever yarn size you use, you're going to need to use a pretty small hook um, to get it to go comfortably um, in the holes. I will say this, um, I, um, this because, because this is so fat is why I'm probably going to, to take some of these pages out. But um, let's give it a try like this and see what happens and then I can reassess if I need to. Um, normally I use a binder clip like this to hold this while I'm working on it but again because this is such a chunky book I'm gonna try this rubber band instead and see if that does what we need it to do which it's gonna it's gonna be great so something just to hold the pages while we're um, while we're while we're working on it uh, one of the things you have to pay a lot of attention to is the tension of your yarn um, you have to keep it uh, loose enough that there's some give in the book uh, when you open it uh, but tight enough that it doesn't get stretched out and the pages start shifting around. The good news is while you use it the spine will um, loosen up um, over time. The yarn stretches out a little bit and you have a little more leeway in the pages. Um, this is my next bullet journal so that's why I was prepping it. Um, I put some beads on it just so that would have a little weight. This one I think, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. Um, I didn't have beads that worked as well for this color yarn and book, so um, we're going to wing it and see what happens. But here's how we're going to get started. Um, I start at the top, although you can start at the bottom. I start at the top just so that the crochet will be closest to this edge. Um, and you just, if you are a crocheter, all I'm doing is single crochet. Um, I'm not here to teach you how to do crochet. If you are not a crocheter, there are about five bazillion um, tutorials here on YouTube um, of how to do that well. Um, so um, I'd say go find one of those. But if you are a crocheter and you know how to do this, um, this will be something that you can grab onto pretty easily. Uh, the biggest issue with this uh, project is keeping, um, you just don't have enough hands is really what it boils down to. Um, I struggle with having enough hands um, and as you can see right out of the gate I've dropped the yarn and made it really hard um, to get it going back again. So we're going to pull that through. I tend to kind of hold like this um, and it's again it's super duper, duper awkward because we got to feed that through and pull up a loop. Um, I typically um, just wait to worry about my end at the end um, and so we're gonna just keep working on down the line. I do two single crochets in um, every hole. Um, you could do a little bit more if you wanted Again, I'm trying to keep my tension um, a little bit on the loose side to try to give this enough leeway. Um, when we finish, we'll open it up and see, and I may end up actually tearing it out 
um, and doing it again, but we'll see that at the end. It's just something you kind of have to play with. Um, this yarn is so pretty. Um, it's a variegated pink and red. Um, I'm making this for a friend of mine who saw my notebook and really got excited about it, but didn't want to learn how to crochet. So I was like, I'll make you one. That's easy peasy. Um, truthfully, making the decisions about what yarn to use and how to mod this book out took longer than this little project right here will. As you can see, I'm going pretty good. Having it sitting here on the table, usually I do it on my lap on the couch, and frankly, this is working better than any previous attempt of holding it on my lap. So clearly, working at a table, underrated skill. Oops, I dropped it. probably speed this up a little bit so you can get to the good part because you guys can see what's happening right now. I'm trying not to lean on the table because the table squeaks really loudly. It's very bad for filming, frankly. split so I'm actually going to back up a few stitches oh yeah that yarn is very split I'm going to back up and um, I don't know if this yarn was old um, but it was really unraveling right there um, and that's not going to be strong enough to hold the book. So I cut it. Um, and yeah, it's okay there. I don't know what this knot is going to look like either on here. So this may be, I pull it out and go again. Again, it'll just have a little tassel right there, so we might just call that character and see how it looks. Again, um, this sort of thing. Um, oh, it, it might end up, no, of course it didn't end up inside the book. Yeah, it might end up inside the pages. Um, uh, I'm a left-handed person, and so writing over the top of a spine, um, a spiral spine in a notebook is incredibly annoying for me. I do like a lay flat notebook for that very reason. Um, but, you know, loose leaf is pretty useful. Or, um, I guess, spiral bound pages are pretty useful. like to open it up. Oop, I have a little trash there. Um, I also put some paper on the inside of this cover to try to 
tie that together a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to pull the strings forward through right here and just give them a little trim so they're a little shorter. Oh yeah, that is going to work great. Works great. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to trim this guy off. And once I trim that off, then I'm just going to reach underneath here and pull that string. Oops, pull that string through like that, just up in there a little bit. is on this end. Yeah, there it is. And I'm going to do the same on this end. There we go. So see that kind of disappears on the edge there. So now, oh man, that is just really, really luscious. Okay, so to do a little bookmark, I'm actually going to I just started a cut that up and now I'm tying this off and I'll run this string. Um, back through again, just like I did the ones from the end of the spine. And here I'm just going to chain stitch uh, because chain stitch will um, lay really flat. It's really hard to do this in this direction. There we go. So I'm going to do this. I'm gonna pull that up pretty good. Let's see if I can maybe do a little tassel action here. And all I did was just folded those a few times over and over. Um, I'm gonna pull this slip up a little bit more. I'm gonna slip these through. I'm hoping this is gonna work. I'm totally improvising this right now. And I'm gonna put that in with those. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just trying to snug these little extra threads up right here. So I'm going to cut this a little bit longer. this one as well. I wonder if I can get that through. I left that guy kind of short, so we'll see what we get here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to cut 
out all these loops. Look at that. And there, there it is. All ready. All ready to go to, to my friend and hopefully she'll really enjoy using it. That's all. Thanks for watching.